Welcome back to my channel. Today we will look into the role of switches in networking and how to keep your networks secure. Let's get started. A network is a system that connects multiple devices, allowing users to share resources like files, printers, and other hardware. A switch is primarily used to link devices within the same network, ensuring smooth communication between them. A router, on the other hand, connects different networks together, making it possible to expand networks on a larger scale. Unicast traffic or one-to-one -one communication. A message is sent from one device to another using a specific IP address. Other devices on the network may see the packet but will ignore it unless it is addressed to them. Broadcast traffic or one-to-all communication. A message is sent to all devices in a network using a broadcast address. All devices receive and process the broadcast message. While switches allow broadcast traffic to pass through, routers block it. A switch is smart. It learns which devices are connected to its ports and directs data accordingly. Here's an example. Jane is communicating with Jack. Referencing the diagram shown on your screen, Jane sends a packet to Jack. Since the switch doesn't yet know which port Jack is on, it floods the packet to all ports. Jack responds, and now the switch records Jack's MAC address as belonging to port 4. From now on, any message from Jane to Jack is sent directly between ports 1 and 4 without involving the others. One key security benefit of switches is that if an attacker on port 3 installs a protocol analyzer, they won't see the data exchanged between Jane and Jack because it isn't being broadcasted to all ports. In contrast, if the network used an old-fashioned hub, all traffic would be visible to every device, making it easy for an attacker to intercept communications. This is why organizations replace hubs with switches to reduce the risk of data interception and improve network efficiency. Port security measures include disabling unused ports. Unused network jacks can be disabled to prevent unauthorized access. This stops someone from plugging in a rogue device and connecting to the network. Another measure is MAC address filtering. A switch can remember the first one or two MAC addresses connected to a port and block any other devices. Admins can manually specify which MAC address is allowed, enhancing security. A switching loop happens when two ports of a switch are accidentally connected with a cable, causing the switch to endlessly resend data. This can flood the network with traffic, cause major slowdowns or complete network failure. To prevent this, switches use spanning tree protocol or STP or rapid STP or RSTP to automatically detect and break loops. If these protocols are disabled, an attacker could exploit this vulnerability by intentionally creating a loop. STP relies on BPDU or Bridge Protocol Data Unit messages to detect network loops. However, an attacker might send fake BPDU messages to disrupt the network. Solution, BPDU Guard can be enabled on edge ports. If a BPDU message is detected on an edge port, the switch disables it right away, blocking the potential attack. Switches play a crucial role in managing network traffic efficiently while providing security advantages over hubs. Proper port security, loop prevention, and protocol protections help keep networks safe from attackers trying to intercept data or disrupt operations. And now we end today's episode. Do remember to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. If you like this one, please share with others. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so do give your feedback in the comments section. Thank you so much for your support and for watching. See you!